hit record. All right, guys, so we're on. Thanks for being here, and, and I apologize. You know, last week I thought I would be able to schedule the hangout, and it just turned out to be a little more overwhelming than I thought having a new child. So <laughs> all is well, and um, things are going great with Cole. We couldn't be happier. So I've been a little bit out of the loop because of it, and I am, I'm one point away from Success Club this month. I do have somebody I think is going to buy a challenge pack tomorrow, so that will get me to my goal. Um, and as most of you know that are here, and from what I can see, the people that are attending here tonight are the coaches that are pretty engaged in their businesses. And this seems to always happen every time we do a round of education or another round of Coach Basics. What typically will happen is we start out with a lot of people who are attending these hangouts. And we start out with a lot of people that are rah, rah, rah on the Facebook page. And then as we progress in time, people fall off. And what, what you're going to find as you build your own organizations and your own businesses, you will eventually start to do this type of thing with your own teams. And, and it doesn't mean you can't continue to use your upline. It's just that you will become competent enough that you can engage and train your own teams um, as you progress in time. And you're going to find that your teams – on average, what I find and what the, what the uh, network leaders will tell you is that on average, about two out of every 10, two out of every 10 will really engage in the business. The other people will start out with great enthusiasm, fired up, ready to go, and then they, they kind of fall off and they end up being no more than discount buyers, which is fine. You know, there, there's a lot of people out there that benefit from the programs themselves and drinking Shakeology themselves at a discount. And that only helps your business. But to get people that are really going to build their business by running challenge groups month in and month out, and hitting success club month in and month out, those are your business builders. So kudos to you guys for being here because it says to me that you are among those few that really are engaged in your business. So congratulations. Um, hopefully you've hit success club already this month. If not, hopefully you're, you're close to it. And if that's not the case, that's all right. A lot of coaches starting out or, or the first time you, you engage in this, it may take a month or two or even three months before you hit Success Club for the first time. But at least you're acquiring the education and hopefully you're implementing it. And the way you're implementing it is through those daily behaviors, those three vital behaviors. You're drinking Shakeology. You're doing the exercise programs, at least one of them, or maybe even Ultimate Reset. You yourself or perhaps – leading a challenge group or are in a challenge group yourself. Um, so you're becoming a product of the product. On a daily basis, you're engaging in some type of personal development, be it looking at the success, um, the success resources in your back office or you know, reading The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy and many other leadership books out there. You're just continually building your personal development in the world of business and even in the world of uh, network marketing. And then finally, you're inviting. You're just constantly inviting people to get healthy and fit, to, to come into your challenge groups. And I always go by the rule that two invitations a day, done consistently, you will hit Success Club every single month. So that's just kind of a recap on how to be doing what we should be doing every day. Now, the things that I, I wanted to hit upon today really draw from, you know, when, what I think has led to my success in this business is I'm drawing from my experience in the world of being a gym owner. And it's kind of a unique position to be in because as a gym owner and somebody that's been focused on marketing and selling gym memberships for many, many years, I've developed a skill set and I've, I've been to countless seminars and business presentations and workshops and you name it to really engage people in wanting to buy a gym membership or possibly buy personal training or get involved in the programs that we offer in gyms that are, that are fee-based. You know, it's, an, it's really getting people to understand the value that we provide in our gym and the services that we provide in our gym. And the approach that we use in engaging all the countless, you know, numbers of members we have in our gyms and, and the sales of personal training and small group training the approach that we use is very, very similar to the approach of beach body coaching when you're trying to get customers for your challenge groups. Because in the end, 
as much as I hate to say it, but in the end, yes, this business is based in sales. And there's a lot of coaches out there that say, oh, it's just sharing. You're just sharing. And, and yes, you are sharing. You're sharing great resources and great tutorials and documents and things that will engage people in our programs and our products. But in the end, you've got to get somebody to make a sale. You've got somebody, you have to get people to buy a challenge pack or a Shakeology home direct order. And so the art of selling comes into play. And the way that Beachbody teaches us to be successful in this world of selling using the concept of challenge groups is through this five-step invitation process. The five-step invitation guide that Beachbody provides for us. Uh, let me just pull it up here. There's a reason I want to pull this up because I want to show you. There it is. Okay, here's, so here's your five-step invitation process. And when you look at the five-step invitation process, the five steps that they're referring to fall under inviting to your challenge group. So when you invite people to your challenge group, they are giving us guidance on how to do it in a five-step way that will nurture people to eventually saying, sign me up versus coming at them with some kind of, you know, hard sale or something like that. And, and I find it very impressive how they've laid this document out because with the training that we do with our own sales staff, you know, and this is what I've primarily been focused on in our gym world for 15 years is how to get our team to successfully sell our programming and our memberships. And there's a way that we do that. You know, we're inviting people into our gym. That's our marketing. You guys are inviting people into your challenge groups through two different ways, through one-on-one -on -one dialogue or one-on-one -on -one Facebook invitations, or you're putting out these, these call it universal invitations on your Facebook page saying, hey guys, I'm starting up a fitness challenge group in February. Uh, message me if you're interested. You know, I'm, I'm looking for people that, are, that want to lose 10 or more pounds over the course of 60 days. You know, you, there's all kinds of really great language you can use to put out a universal invitation on your Facebook page and get people to respond. Or you're individually reaching out to people that you know could benefit from the services that you provide. You're, you're, you're sending them an invitation. And this invitation that I'm talking about right now, that's, that's step one. It's called the initial invite on the five-step challenge or the five-step invitation process. Your initial invite, and it really lays it out clearly, sample invitation message. You know, hey Joe, my next 90-day Beachbody challenge is gonna start soon and I know you've been wanting to make a change. Uh, I wanted to invite you to join me. I'd love to talk with you more about it. Let's chat later today. Is there a time that works for you? Putting out a message like that to two people a day is, will become effective and you'll get a lot of people that are not going to respond but you've planted a seed and as long as you just keep going with two invitations a day because you know fully well that these this challenge group that you're putting together is going to help these people you will fill your funnel with what we call the 10 in play and i talked about this in our last hangout the 10 in play having enough people in your funnel that every single month two or three of them are going to drop through two or three of them are gonna become challenge pack customers and you're gonna hit success club. As long as you're continually doing the invitation process using that type of language. Or also, I should say, and also doing the universal message on your Facebook page, be it your personal Facebook page or your Beachbody coach page that you've set up. Either or, it's putting out, hey guys, my next 90 day fitness challenge starts, you know, on February 5th and I'm looking for people who are interested in losing 20 pounds or more over the course of 90 days. Message me if interested, whatever you want to put out there to just get people chiming in. Hey, I saw your post. Tell me more about it. That's your, in, that's your in, invitation process. Now, step two, and this is where we're going to get really involved. Step two is the most important part of getting people to want to commit to your group because step two, and it even says on the invitation guide, you will spend more time on step two than any other step because this is when people have responded 
to your invitation in a way that there's an expression of interest. They want to know more. And when people express that interest, they want to know more. Yeah, I saw your thing. I'm interested. There are some changes I want to make. Tell me more about it. So here's your sample message. You know, awesome. I'm going to send you more information. But first I have to ask, what is it that's motivating you to commit and make a change in your life right now? So what's happening here is you've thrown out an invitation to somebody. They've come back with an expression of interest. And the mistake that a lot of coaches make is they, they get so excited that they respond with, oh, it's this challenge pack. We're going to do P90X3 and you're going to drink Shakeology and here's what it costs. And then the people never come back to them. Because what's happening is you've, you've jumped the gun in terms of going to like step five or, or step four. You, you haven't made the sale yet and you're putting, out, you're putting out the product before you've learned enough about the person. And so in step two, you want to you wanna turn the conversation so that you're asking them questions. When somebody expresses interest and says, yeah, tell me more about it, how much is it? Don't respond with, oh, it's the P90X3 challenge pack and it's cost $180. You're going to say, I'm going to provide you with all that information. But first, can I ask, what is it that's motivating you to want to make a change right now? And what's going to happen here is you're going to become really good at getting to people's deepest emotional whys. You know, what is it that's their underlying motivating drive to want to possibly work with you and get involved in your challenge group? And I have another document here that <clears throat> I'm going to post this on our page. It's called The Magic of Selling. And this document is not, it's not part of the Beachbody resources. This is a document that I created about two months ago, believe it or not, for our sales team in the gym. You know, these people come into our gym and they're coming in for a reason. And the reason that they always give is, I'm here to get membership info. How much is your membership? And what we train our staff to do is say, fantastic, we're going to give you all that information. But first, can we ask, what, has it, what is it that has caused you to come into the gym today? Why today are you looking for membership information? You know, what is it that caused, that caused you to come into our door and want to make a change? It's the same principle that's happening here as a beach body coach. You know, that's why I think this business is fascinating. To me, you're a gym. You're providing programs and products that are as good as anything that people can get in a gym. But all you, what you have to do is qualify why people are interested. So we continue with our dialogue. And on this document, and again, I'll post it, you know, write some of this stuff down, because this is some of the, what I find to be the best line of questioning to get people to really open up to you about what they're trying to change. And Here's a question. So again, take what's on the five-step invitation guide. Use those sample messages that are on there. But here's a couple of others for you. What is the single biggest reason you're thinking about making a change now? You know, that's a big question. It's a big open-ended question where people are going to respond with, well, I need to lose weight. Um, I'm stressed my energy is down, whatever it may be, people are going to respond. And when they respond, guess what? It's time to go even deeper. Don't stop with that first line of questioning. And I'm going to go back to this example of I want to lose weight. So what is it that has you interested uh, in possibly making a change? Or what, it has, what is it that has you interested in making a change in your life now or possibly wanting to be part of my group? Well, I really need to lose weight. Fair enough. How much weight? How much weight would you like to lose? So go deeper, they say. Okay, about 30 pounds or so. 30 pounds. How, how quickly would you like to lose that weight? By when? So now you're trying, to, you're trying to get an understanding of somebody's expectations. I want to lose weight. How much? 30 pounds. By when? Just keep going. And what will often happen is you'll arrive at their deepest why to the point where somebody will say, you know, and I've used things like, is there something coming up in your life that has you wanting to lose 30 pounds right now? 
And very often what you'll find is somebody saying, actually, my brother's wedding's coming up in three months and I just want to be able to fit in that dress. You know, there's things that they won't tell you unless you get deep, as deep as you can to their why. Once you've done that successfully, you really have a lot of, um, call it power to convert this person into a customer as we move into steps three, four, and five. But still staying on this second step, here's another great question that I often ask of people who are coming into our gym or are expressing interest in my challenge group. I'll say to them, if you could change two things about your weight, your body, or overall health, what would they be? You know, that's a huge open-ended question for a lot of people. If you could change two things about your weight, your body, or your overall health, what would they be? And just let them respond. And that's when you'll see people start pouring out, oh my God, you know, my, I'd love to get rid of the flab around my waist. Um, I'd love to have more energy and so on and so forth. I'd love to get my cholesterol down. Um, I have high blood pressure, all these different things that a lot of people are suffering from. So you ask this wonderful open-ended question to get to that, you know, these things that they want to change about themselves. Once they've given that information, you know, I, I even go to things like, um, how long has it been since you've been at that weight you want to get to? You know, I want to lose 30 pounds. When's the last time you were 30 pounds lighter? And you say, oh my gosh, you know, I haven't been that light since just after college. How did you feel at that time? You know, you just keep going and get people to really dial into, I want to get back to that weight. Once you've uncovered all this deep, meaningful why that they have pent up inside, then it becomes, well, guess what? You're in the right spot. Because this challenge group I'm putting together is exactly what's going to get you there. And you say it with such confidence, you know, you really got to assert yourself as being a confident coach that is so sure of these pathways that these programs provide. You know, somebody doing P90X3 for 90 days, damn straight, they're going to get amazing results. Drinking one Shakeology shake a day and doing something like that, it's amazing what they're going to accomplish. So say it with you know, the utmost confidence, you're in the right spot. You want to get down to that 30 pounds for your brother's wedding, I'm going to make it happen for you. And I'm not just going to give you a program. I'm actually going to support you the entire way. That's what my challenge group is all about. Let me send you a video on how it works. Fair enough? You know, you've said all the right things at that point in step two that they're going to say, yeah, you know, give me some more information on this thing. And that's where you go to step three. And step three is kind of the easy part. You send them the video, ever feel like this. The video that's in your back office called ever feel like this. And if you can't find it in your back office, you can just, you can, I always pull it up on YouTube. Just send them the link and say, you know, hey Joe, as per our discussion, watch this video. This explains um, the concept of, of my challenge group. And then we'll reconnect afterward. Send that video, let them watch it. Because it just does a really good job, almost in a kind of a comical way, explaining how the challenge group works. And if you don't know where that video is, or you have a problem finding it, you know, just post a message on our team page and we'll, we'll put it up there. But hopefully you've seen it by now. It's a great video. Once you've sent them the video, and they come back and say, yeah, this sounds pretty cool. You know, how much is it gonna be? All right. Then you go to step four, and step four is where they see how serious you are about them committing to the group. This is not to be taken lightly. You know, by, by putting, you know, holding people accountable to their behavior and letting them know that you're gonna be the person doing that. And by coming into your challenge group, this is what you expect of them. You know, here's how this works, Joe. You, you have me for the next 90 days, and I'm going to be the one holding you accountable on a daily basis. I'm going to be giving you daily motivation, and you're going to have some peer support from other people in the group, but you have my leadership, and I'm the person you can reach out to. Now, we're all going to be doing this program, P90X3, or maybe the 21-Day Fix. You know, this thing is going to take off from what I'm reading with the 21-Day Fix. Whatever it may be, it's 
we're all going to do this, this program and, and you're going to be drinking this shake, Shakeology. So, and I can send you some information on that, but the fee for the program is going to be $180. It's going to give you your first month of Shakeology. It's going to give you the entire 90 day program. But more importantly, it's giving you me. So this is the biggest thing when you are at this, you know, step four, make, make it very clear that you're not just selling them a product. You're, they're buying you. You're the value that's bringing, that, that they're getting, not the product. The product is just the tool they're going to use. What they have to get them across the finish line and hold them accountable you know, and make it fun for them is you. And that's where the value lies in making it you know, more than just a product sale. They have you, and you've got to make that clear to them. Okay? Um, Step four, just to read, you know, this sample messaging that they have. Okay, Joe, sounds like you're really ready to lose that 30 pounds to be in shape by your, for your sister's wedding come June. You know, you're repeating back to them their underlying why. You're repeating back to them the thing that has them motivated to even get this information from you. So, okay, Joe, sounds like you're really ready to make the commitment to lose that 30 pounds, get in shape for your sister's wedding. My job is to get you there, okay? This is what I expect of you. This is your commitment. You're going to work out at home or in your gym if you want. You know, use the plans that are in there. But work out at home or in the gym using the plans that are provided in the P90X3 kit. You're going to drink Shakeology every day. And you're going to be active on our private Facebook group. So every day, I just want you to touch in. You know, touch base. Let me know that you've worked out. Let me know if you're having any challenges or struggles. That's what I'm there for. And at the same time, I'm going to be giving you daily motivation and tips in exercise and nutrition to support the program. So we're all doing this together. So that's more or less your dialogue in step four. You know, and it becomes, you know, are you ready to do this? And usually, if you've done this properly, it's, yeah, sign me up. I'm in. When they say they're in, make sure you do step five because we've seen mistakes happen. Help them enroll. Make sure you walk them through the purchase of the product. You know, be on the phone with them or make sure they're on their computer and you're talking them through where to go, the exact website. You know, and when it comes to the challenge book or the, the challenge pack link, you know, you can go to your your customer website. So if you log out of teambeachbody.com and you just go in like you are a customer to your own website and you click challenge pack, it'll pull up the challenge pack products and it'll actually give you the link that you could send them and say, here, click here. And it's going to take you right to my page to buy the product. So just make sure that it's going through your page so that you get this, the, the success club points and obviously the commission on the sale, okay? Um, before I talk about anything further, I just wanna open it up to any dialogue you guys might have or any questions you might have on this whole invitation process and on the selling process because this is, this is what it's all about. You know, let's not kid ourselves. It's, if you're gonna hit Success Club every month, you have to get two or three customers for challenge packs and or home direct order. So does anybody have any questions on this process? This is the meat of the business right here. Is there anything that anybody wants to add? I mean, Shannon's a diamond coach as well. She's got a wonderful team um, and you're killing it. So is there anything that you do that I haven't already mentioned that's working for you? If, if you want, I can unmute your mic real quick here. Um, you, you hit everything. Yeah. We, um, when I have uh, coaches and I've done this myself early in, in the game, um, you skip that second step or something. It doesn't work. You've got you to get all the steps in there. You have, to, you have to make that person know why they want to do it. Yeah. You don't have to tell them to do it. You've got to figure out why they want to do it. And those are the people that I've had in challenge groups that go from one challenge group right to the next one because they are getting results and they like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have one person that's going to do P90X3. She's doing it with me now, and she's going to do 21 Day Fix together with me on that. So there's a couple of us doing that together. That's so awesome. it'll be – I've committed people for 21 Day Fix already. 
That's fantastic. So it's fun. Yeah, it, it really is. And, and, and as that happens, as that process happens where you have people who are becoming recurring customers and they're, they're jumping into other challenge groups that you do, those are um, your best potential coaches. You know, those are the yes. people that have become a product of the product. They believe wholeheartedly in Shakeology. They, they believe wholeheartedly in the pathways that these programs provide. And they know how they're feeling because they're doing these things. Those are your perfect candidates for coaches to say, hey, look, why don't you become a coach and invite yeah. others that you know might be interested in this? You invite them to these challenge groups that we're running and you get the commission on the programs. You know, that it, it's just, it becomes like an easy, an easy segue into that whole conversation about becoming a coach. Those right. your customers are your best coach prospects versus going out and talking to people that know nothing about the beach body business. They've never done a program or product and you're going to try to get them to become a beach body coach. It's kind of like, well, what the heck is that? Your customers yeah. are your best potential coaches because they get it. They've been I do have a funny story about that. Go ahead, Shannon. Um, I have a funny story about exactly what you just said. There's a woman um, in my area that's a big uh, cyclist, and she, she rides her bike everywhere. She does all these riding competitions. Um, and she asked me, what's a Beachbody coach? So I explained it to her, and she goes, well, I might be interested in that. So I sent her the information, and she's never done Shakeology or a program or anything. And she said, well, I don't think it's for me right now. And that was month, that was last summer. She just Facebooked me two days ago and said, I think I want to know what this is about now. I'm more interested. Okay. She sees all the stuff going on on Facebook. She says, it looks really fun. I really want to try this. So I'll see where it goes from there. Great. Yeah. And so those people that say no at first, you keep them in your pipeline. Even if it takes a year, they're in your pipeline. You're occasionally touching right. base. You invite them to your Facebook page so that they can see the posting that you're doing. Um, they can also see the success you're realizing as a coach. You know, when you start earning income as a coach, you know, I'm not one to go out and tell people what I earn, but there are times when I put it out there because it's like, look, this business is real. You know, it's, it's in terms of helping people in the world of health and fitness. I don't know of another potential career path that surpasses this when it's done properly. It really is amazing that the, the whole model of how it works, it's, they've really set up a, a game changer here as far as I'm concerned. But thanks for that, Shannon. It's, it's, yeah, very, that's very true. Um, did anyone else have anything else they wanted to add or comment on in terms of the invitation process? If not, I'll, I'll jump to the next topic. Um, okay. Why don't I go to how to hold a fit club workout event. So fit clubs, this document here, it's another great document that's found in your back office or the, all these documents that I show here like this and talk about on the team euphoria Facebook page. If you go to, if you click the files tab, there's a whole listing of different documents that are under that files tab. These are all there and they can be downloaded. So when it comes to the concept of holding a fit club workout event, um, and I'll be honest, I've never done a fit club myself. I've seen them in action. I think it's a wonderful way to, to build your business. It's the, the concept behind running a fit club is you're working with people that are geographically located near you where you can get a, uh, maybe even in your house, you know, depending on your house and how big your basement is, that kind of thing. Some coaches will hold fit clubs once a week in their own house, or they'll go to their local town hall or maybe their local church or anywhere where you can get space for people to come together once a week, maybe twice a week if, if you have the time, but typically once a week to engage in a beach body workout. And it simply means that you're going to come together and you'll have a TV, you'll have the DVD player, and you're going to put one of the workouts on. It could be any program. And you're just coming together to do an exercise workout together as a group following the DVD. And once the workout is over, then there's typically, you know, discussion, what you think about the program. You, you are also typically having samples and maybe even a couple blenders and sharing Shakeology. You know, get people, pique, pique their interest in Shakeology by having some of the recipe calendars there, having a couple of the, the booklets on Shakeology or even the trifolds. 
have a blender going, sample some recipes. It's a big part. I feel it's a great part of the whole Fit Club concept. It's the exercise plus this high quality nutrition tool. And when you do the Fit Club, typically every week you come back, you'll do another program. It doesn't have to be the same program every time. So maybe one week you're going to do a P90X3 workout. The next week you'll do a Les Mills Combat workout. The following week you can do an Insanity workout and so forth. Or you can stay with the same program if you want. It's up to you how you run your Fit Club in terms of what programs you want to do each time you come together for the workout. So beyond that, this document, you know, it's 11 pages long. I won't go into all the details because it's very self-explanatory, but it talks about how to get ready, how to invite, the equipment and supplies you'll need. And this equipment and supplies list, it's I, I highly recommend following it if ever you try doing a fit club because there are little things on here that you will forget. Like I forgot the extension cord. I forgot the power strip, you know, just little simple things like that, that you're kicking yourself in the butt. Follow this list because it's, it's got everything you need. Um, once you get through the list, it's like, okay, there's my bullet point checklist of everything I need. It has this whole list of sharing tools. So typically you would have a table set up that has sharing literature on all the programs and the products that you represent. And when people sample a workout, many people, or at least a few people, will often be like, God, I really enjoyed this, this was great, I got a great workout, you know, I want to know more about this program. So what I, what I really recommend you do is that whatever workout you're doing in your fit club in any particular week, make sure you've printed out the product guide for that program the product guide for that program that's found in your back office. It's going to detail, you know, the, the target market that that program is suited for, the results that people can expect to get, how long the program lasts. It just gives all the, the fine details about the program. And that'll help, you know, engage people and possibly wanting to buy it. Um, let me just look through the document and make sure I didn't. Okay, it goes into you know, leading the workout and holding the actual event from the meet and greet to warm up and inspiration to the introduction you might give. I mean, they've done, they've done their homework with these resources they provide you with, you know, and it gives you a sample agenda and then what to do after the workout. You know, successful coaches know that one of the optimal times to connect with prospects is after the workout. Don't let your attendees get in the habit of rolling up their mats and heading for the door. You know, engage with people. What do you think of the workout? You know, what is it you're trying to, trying to change? What are your fitness goals? Get into that open-ended questioning that we used in step two of the invitation process. You know, this is your, your chance to bring people together in a live environment and have some fun. So I think fit clubs are a great idea. I wish I had time to do fit clubs. I, I just don't. So my business has primarily been just through challenge groups and, and Shakeology orders. But fit clubs, I know there's a lot of coaches out there that are crushing it. And here's another thing you can do to get great ideas. Google Beachbody Fit Clubs. Just go to a Google search engine and type in Beachbody Fit Clubs and look what comes up. There's hundreds, if not thousands of fit clubs going on around the country. And you can see the marketing that they put together. You can see the websites that they've set up. Very, very inspiring stuff to just give you more ideas for your business. Okay? All right. Um, I want to talk about how to sell Shakeology. Shakeology is definitely, without a doubt, call it the highest quality nutrition tool that I'm aware of in the world of supplementation. And I reached that conclusion after several months of drinking it myself. Like when I started drinking Shakeology, I knew nothing about it. I started drinking it because I was told that it was good for me and I should check it out. My original reason for signing up as a coach was that I could sell Les Mills Pump and Les Mills Combat here and there because I'm a trainer for Les Mills. But then as I became more aware of all these programs and products, it was like, oh my God, this is really powerful. So with Shakeology, I started drinking it. And I've been consuming shakes for 20 years, if not more, protein shakes and things of that nature. 
But with Shakeology, it was just like the purest dose of nutrition you could put in your body. Um, and I started sharing it with my family. And what really put me over the edge was when after my mother had been drinking it for several months daily, she was able to get rid of um, over half of her blood pressure medications. The doctor, when she went in for her checkup, said, what are you doing differently? She said, well, nothing really. I just added this shake to my diet and that's it. And he said that the nutrients or what's in that shake has regulated your blood pressure. I'm taking half your meds away. And I'm happy to say that she had gone in again. They took even more of her meds away. I'm hoping she's going to be off of them entirely soon. So it was kind of like, what is this stuff? Short of being a magic shake, it did the research. I've I've spoken to many professionals in nutrition that have looked at it and analyzed it and said this is incredible. So when it comes to Shakeology, I'm all about sharing it, you know. And when it comes to sharing it, it's I always have packets on me. I always have packets and I always have a trifold on me. I carry them in my backpack. I shared it a while back with the mechanic at my, my auto body shop. You know, it's just like people are looking for a nutrition tool because so many people struggle to eat right. And so when it comes to sharing a packet of Shakeology with someone, I don't just give them, you know, don't just give them the packet and hope they like it the first time. Make sure you're sharing with them at least your favorite recipe. You know, I, I, I'm always making it a point to say, look, here's, here's a chocolate packet. This is my personal favorite. There are other flavors, two of which are vegan, but chocolate is my favorite. I would suggest that you mix it and I tell them my favorite recipe. I also will give them a recipe calendar. So a trifold recipe calendar and a packet. That's my sharing tool with somebody to try Shakeology. And very often in that first meeting, it becomes, well, how much is it? And I just say, four thirty-three a bag. And you're always, I always get, that's not bad. No, not at all. Try it. Let me know what you think. Don't say, well, we've got this home direct program and it's one twenty-nine ninety-five a month. When you go down that path, now you've got their initial feeling of, whoa, that's expensive. And you have to start overcoming price objection. If you just start out right off the bat, with, oh, a packet of Shakeology, and I take it back, packet of Shakeology, 466 a day because it's only 24 packets. No, I'm sorry. I'm getting this confused. <laughs> sorry, guys. The packets are five and change a day if they're just getting the packets. But if they're getting the 30 serving bag, it's 433 a day. So when I give them a packet and they say, how much is it? I say, well, in packet form, we have it uh, for five and change a day, or you can get a 30 serving bag at 433 a serving. So you don't give the grand total, give what it breaks down to per serving. If they like it, they come back to you, great. Now you can share more information about what's in it and get into the sharing videos. And I think most of you by now have seen the great sharing videos that they have on Shakeology, they're phenomenal. Um, there's one in particular that is not in the Beachbody back office, but it is in the document that I posted on our page a couple weeks ago. And it's basically this document that says best Shakeology sharing tools. And not only does it have the most popular videos that are in the back office, it has a couple of others that were created by coaches. One in particular that I think is the best from, uh, Shane Fryer. It's a, it's a video. It's about six minutes, six minutes, just over six minutes long. And I don't know how much energy she put it into creating the video, but it's fantastic for explaining the benefit of every superfood ingredient that's in the shake. So share that with people either before you've given them a sample or after, before you get into the in-depth conversation on well, this is how you sign up for Home Direct, or this is how you do a one-time order. Get their buy-in on the product before you get into the price discussion. Now, there still can be the instance where people are going to object to price, and this is what I do time and time again. And we have so, I mean, I, I'm doing this in our gym all the time because we have a lot of members who 
are looking for a nutrition tool and Shakeology is the one that we endorse. And very often we get pushback on, oh man, $129.95 a month, that's expensive. And I just, whoa, whoa, hold on. We're talking about one shake a day at a cost of $4.33. So what I want you to do for me, I want, you, I want to do this little exercise with you. You know, this is me talking to potential customers. I want to do an exercise with you. I want you to write down everything that you've eaten in the everything that you've eaten and drank in the past two days. I want you to write it down. Do it right now. Have them sit there and write down everything that they ate and drank over the past two days. And then once they've done that, it becomes okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put a price tag next to every one of those items to see what you've spent on all those different things. And nine times out of 10, you're going to identify something there in their normal daily nutrition where you can circle and go, do you think it's possible that you would want to replace this one thing here that's costing you $5 with a shake that is going to give you the highest dose of nutrition, the most beneficial nutrition you can put in your body to help you lose your weight, increase your energy, reduce your cravings, lower your cholesterol, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera at $4.33. Once you, when they see that comparison of what they're already spending their money on, very often it becomes, ah, so if I replace that, yes, this is a meal replacement shake. You're eliminating some of the stuff you're putting in your body on a daily basis and you're replacing it with your shake at a cost of $4.33. You do that exercise with people, it very often becomes Okay, that makes sense. Rather than $129.95, that's expensive. And you're hemming and hawing going, well, you know, it's really good for you. And no, just dial it down to the basics. And for most people, they can afford the shake when you dial it down that way. All right. I also will point out to them, look, why don't we do this? Sign up for the Home Direct program. Okay, yes, $129.95. And I want you to drink this shake every day for 30 days. If at the end of that 30 days, you're not happier, you don't feel better, you don't see a change or feel a change, we'll return the empty bag and you'll get, your full re you'll get a full refund. How's that sound? You know, they've just made it very easy to overcome price objection. That 30 day money back guarantee is almost unheard of. That they can finish an entire bag in 30 days and send the empty bag back. Beachbody will refund their money. Use that in your dialogue with people. It's, it's very powerful. Okay. Um, before I jump to the last two things, is there anything on Shakeology that gives you a challenge or a pushback from people or any comments you want to make? Shannon, do you do anything that's... Uh, different than what I'm saying here. And I keep going back to Shannon guys, cause she's, she's a diamond coach and she's, she's rocking it. So go ahead. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really do anything different. In fact, I have, um, two people that came to me today, um, after I gave them samples and said, I, I want the strawberry vegan. I'm like, good, here's the link. But it didn't, you know, it didn't start that way. It just started like, well, what is it? Well, here's what it is. Do you want to try it? And they didn't even ask cost. If they ask cost, I do exactly what you do. Yeah. You know, this costs $4.33 a day when you get a bag and there's a bottom of the bag guarantee. So you really can't go wrong. Yeah. And then I say, what do you spend five bucks on a day that you don't need? And they usually go Starbucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, no, just stop getting your Starbucks, you know? So yeah. that's, yep. it. yeah. I don't do anything different. It works every time. Perfect. It's great. Okay. I want to hit upon this concept of, um, and I know I had, I had talked about it in one of our earlier hangouts, the concept of starting up a separate new Facebook page, your, your Beachbody coach page. Some of you have already done it. It's great. Some of you have even started team pages. You know, Shannon has her big team going. Janine, you've got your team going now. It, it's fantastic that you're just jumping in like that. You're saying, oh, I'm going to build a team here. And that's for you to do in your own time. Whether or not you want to create a team page, can happen maybe down the road. If you want to jump in now, great. But more importantly is, and I think all coaches should be doing this if you're serious about your, your business, don't just use your existing 
personal Facebook page for your beach body coach business and all the posting that you're going to do. You want to create a separate and new Facebook page, which is nothing more than a general, um, call it health and fitness discussion group. And your page is something that you're going to invite people to like. So I, I had created um, a couple months ago, Murphy fitness. That is my, that is my beach body coach page. My, my Murphy fitness page is kind of my umbrella to who I am in the world of health and fitness with beach body being a big part of it. So you create your like page, which is your beach body coach page and you invite your existing friends to do nothing more than like it. When they like your page, Whenever you post something on your page having to do with health, nutrition, wellness, motivation, whatever it may be, they're getting that in their news feed. They're getting that in their message feed. And so they're seeing, you know, ah, Janine put this thing up today about uh, how much water I should drink on a daily basis. It's just general health and fitness discussion knowledge that you're just sharing to keep your friends inspired, educated, um, in the world of health and fitness. But it's also your page to periodically put out those big messages. Hey guys, I'm starting off a brand new support group, February 10th, using this incredible new program from Beachbody, the 21 day fix. Message me for details. You know, it's your general invitation message that we talked about earlier from the five step invitation guide. You can do that on your own personal Facebook page, and some coaches do. But if you really want to go to that you know, professional level, set up a brand new page that people can like, and that's your Beachbody coach page. Save your personal page for your personal things, you know, the things that are happening in your personal life. That's how I look at it. I, don't, I, I very rarely am putting personal things or business things on my, my personal page. So, sorry guys, one second. Who's that? Oh, we have a guest. We have a guest, real quick. Here we go. So this is. Hey bud, this is Cole. Cole, say hi to everybody. <laughs> Open your eyes, buddy. Say hello. You good? He's he's in the middle of feeding, so he's kind of zonked. He's in a milk coma. <laughs> What's up? You saying hello to everybody? I want you to be doing these soon instead of me. I'm going into retirement someday. <laughs> There's Cole Phillip, guys. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Such a trip. That's why I haven't worked out in two weeks. I have not exercised in two weeks. It's killing me. I'm like, ah. Oh. So... <laughs> It'll change. I will get back into the trenches soon. All right. Um, there's, I, I'm going to show you another thing. So you, I talked about the Facebook page you can do and invite people to like it. The coaches, some of these coaches that have really gone to the stratosphere, and I'm talking coaches that are earning you know, well into the six figures, some even seven figures, they're working with companies, professional companies that have professionalized their websites. I want to show you one that I came upon the other day because I'm always browsing and finding different, different ones with these, you know, these, these coaches that are just killing it. Um, check out this. I'm going to share my screen because this I thought was really cool. So let's see here. If we go to um, – here, bear with me, guys. Mm-hmm. 